Welcome to the Mud Buddy Service Series. Um, my name is Enrique. Today we are going to be talking about transmissions. We, uh, we do have now two types of transmissions. I like to call them generation, Gen 1 and Gen 2. Um, I'm going to go a little bit over the difference. There is not a lot. It's actually the, the second generation is pretty easy. But uh, for you guys that have a new motor that it, it was manufactured after the second week of April in 2019. If, you, if your motor was manufactured after that date, um, you will have a second generation transmission. If you have any questions on when your motor, uh, when your motor, motor was manufactured, please give us a call. Um, have your serial number in hand. Just give us a, just give us a call if you, if you have a, any questions. Me, Keith, Micah, we can tell you when it was manufactured and which transmission you have. Right now, I'm just going to explain to you how to remove the second generation transmission. Um, most of you guys know or you've seen how to take apart the first one when it um, took the main bolt and took the three pieces apart and replaced what you needed. Well, this one is actually really simple. This is going to be a very short video. Um, there is, I believe, other than tension, um, losing the tensioning and, and bolts and all that stuff, all that normal things, all those normal things. Um, as you can see, I don't have any of that here. This is just going to be just for simplicity. Um, all you have to do, really, is grab an impact or whatever you have in hand uh, and remove the, the main bolt. Now, mo um, most of them, they're going to require a slight hammer. I'm just gonna pull this just just to see if it comes out or not. I don't think it's going to. The key keeps it in place really easy. And I think I'm gonna bring this table down with me. So um, you guys know about this, this light hammer. Half inch 13, that's the thread. You can use a long, a long half inch bolt also. Uh, make a homemade slight hammer. But all you have to do, just like the other one, remove this thing, I mean, install your side hammer. And that's it. This is how you remove the transmission. There is no need to take anything else apart. Just like the other one, you are going to want to uh, save your key, your keyway. There is, um, these things are actually quite pricey. It's not just like, it's not like a regular keyway. So just save it, make sure you don't lose it. Now, the difference between this and the first one, different seals, okay? Uh, that's the main difference, other than some measurements and, and sizes and whatnot. But um, the main difference is the seal. You will be able to replace the seal on this transmission, although it's very, very unlikely it will fail. This is the seal on the Gen 2, and this is the first one. Um, part numbers are going to be down in the description. But, um, so this is the thing. Uh, this new transmission can, uh, has more oil. It has twice the amount of oil. On the first one, you had 1.25 ounces. On this one, you're gonna have 2.5, so two and a half ounces of oil. Full synthetic motor oil 10w30 again is going to be done in the description now if you want to come over here i'll put the two transmissions right next to each other and you can tell the differences right here all right so right here we have Gen 2, Gen 1. This one, if I pull on the on the brake plate, it stays. I lift the whole thing up. This one, if I pull on the brake plate, the whole thing comes apart. And you can here you can replace the seal. You can check your uh, your gears and whatnot. You can do all this stuff. So all of you guys, most of you guys, um, know that I do have a video on how to replace the seal on the first generation transmission. Um, like I said, I, I really, I don't think you're going to, you're going to be replacing this seal a lot. 
it's easier for you to replace the whole transmission and whatnot. But if you are going to, um, that explanation is really, really self-explanatory. It's not that more difficult than this. Um, if you if you come across or if for whatever reason you have to replace the seal, you can give me a call. I am going to be shooting a video in the future on how to replace that. Um, it's a little bit of a process. You most likely will need a, a vise and a, and a puller, obviously. But um, that's I'm probably going to leave that for a different video. I don't want to make this one too long. So um, let's say that you have the new transmission. You replaced whatever you need to replace. You fixed it. And you want to put it back together. We are going to grab your key and then just slide it in the in the slot and um, now a quick tip for this the slot in the crankshaft the keyway in the crankshaft you want to you want it facing down so you just spin it the reason for that is because I don't know if you can see in here but you guys all know how it works the key is going to be on the bottom if you put it on the top it's most like I mean it's gonna fall you're gonna have a really hard time lining it up but if you have the slot at the bottom, you can line it up really easy. Um, just remember, I'm doing this without the belt. You guys are probably going to have, because there is no, it's not necessary for you to remove the drive. You will have um, the belt right there, so just make sure. Obviously, you we put it back on. And then once you... Once you line it up, you will feel it spinning it. I, if you notice, I put my thumb on this so it doesn't spin independent. I'm kind of spinning it. When you when it lines up, just push it, and that's it. It's lined up. It's uh, all the way in. Put your bolt back on, and to torque it, it is the exact same way as the other one. You want to align. This things up. Tie it by hand. And it is 55 foot pounds on this thing. back to you I don't think I dare putting 55 foot pounds on this because I'm gonna tip it over but you guys get the idea <laughs> um, I think that's it um, do you have any questions or anything feel free to call us after this just put your tension back on double check your bolts Everything it's uh, that everything is tight. There is no leaks. There is no nothing. Um, double check the oil always. Always double check the oil after you have serviced it, put it putting it back on or off and all that stuff. Always double check the oil. Um, check out the the description. I will have all the all the quantities and, and tools that you need and all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And uh, I will be seeing you guys later in a different video. Thanks. See ya.